Hey everyone, this is Anthony from TheDistro.com and welcome to part 2 of this series downloading and installing OpenSUSE on VirtualBox. Alright, so now once we have our VirtualBox manager opened up, we're just going to highlight OpenSUSE and then we're going to click this start icon at the top. And this little box that comes up is telling you that once you're inside of your virtual machine, in order to get out, what you're going to do is hit the right control. So your mouse will be locked in the virtual machine. If you get stuck, you just hit the right control button on your keyboard and you'll be able to move it freely from in the virtual machine onto your host operating system. Alright, so I'm just going to hit OK. If you forget what key it is, it's at the bottom right, this right control right here. Alright, so just double click inside of the virtual machine and use your mouse and go down to installation and hit enter. Now again, you're not going to be able to get outside of the virtual machine right now unless you hit the right control and then you get your mouse back. And you can double click and you're back in the virtual machine. And we're just going to wait for this to load. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the installation process. It's relatively easy, so just follow along. I'm just going to scroll down and you can read this license agreement and I'm just gonna hit next and now it's just doing a system probing so I'm just gonna wait for this to finish alright so now we're gonna make sure new installation is checked and we're going to leave use automatic configuration checked. I'm going to hit next. Alright, OpenSUSE should detect my time zone. And there it is. Okay, so if it doesn't, you could just manually select it using these dialog boxes. I'm just going to hit next. And we'll go on to the next screen. Alright, so here we select what desktop environment we want for our graphical user experience alright so I'm gonna keep KDE selected if you're familiar with genome you want to use genome desktop that's fine I prefer KDE so I'm gonna leave that checked if you're unsure you can just stick with KDE follow me for now and you could try out genome later or vice versa alright so I'm just gonna hit next again and now it comes up with a suggested partitioning for me I could change this if I want. I can make certain areas smaller if I wanted to. I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to just hit next. Alright. So now we're going to fill out our new user information. So you could just type your name. And it will fill it out for username. If you want something different you can change this. I'll leave that. And now we're just going to come up with a password. The practice for creating a password is creating it very, very complicated. So you want to use numbers, letters, symbols, uppercase, lowercase, as complicated as you get. So I'm, I'm just going to choose something basic for demonstration purposes, but best practice is to make it as complicated as possible. So I'm just going to hit next, and it's going to detect that my password is too simple. So I'm just going to hit yes, that's fine. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you choose something very complicated. All 
Alright, so now it's just setting up everything for the installation. As you can see, OpenSUSE is a very heavy operating system. It has a lot of software that comes with it. It's already going to install almost 2.5 gigs of software on it before you even use it. Just a little heads up. Alright, this is all fine. I'm going to hit install. And I'm going to click install again. And this is going to take a little while. You can go get a cup of coffee, go to the bathroom, whatever you want to do. And when you come back in about a half an hour, it should be done, depending on your system. So I'm just going to pause this, and it will pick up as soon as this finishes. Okay, so VirtualBox just finished installing, and now it just restarted. When this comes up, we're going to hit boot from hard disk. And this is just going to load up. There's a good chance that you should be able to now seamlessly move from Windows into VirtualBox and back out without having to use the host key anymore. And now it's going to go into preparing for the first time configuration. Okay, so congratulations, you've just installed OpenSUSE 11.3 on VirtualBox 4. Just a quick test, click on this little Firefox icon in the bottom left corner, just to make sure your network is running. It looks good. I'm just going to go to Google really quick. Okay, perfect. So everything works. You can uh, check out this little introduction page. You can show introduction uh, KD4. You can check out all the different things here. And after that, you close out of that. And the process for desktop protocol died unexpectedly. Alright, this is fine. You can just exit out of that because we have to restart this anyway. So we're going to restart, hit this power button. All right, so now we'll just click back on this and we'll hit start again. And we'll wait for this to start up again. Hit OK. Click inside, hit boot from hard disk, hit enter, so we're back, we just restarted, our desktop folder that was here is gone, so there's a very simple way to get it back, all it is is a desktop widget. So we're going to right click on our desktop, click on add widgets. Now this widget menu is going to come up at the bottom. I'm going to scroll over till I see folder view. All 
All right, so I'm going to click on folder view. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to drag it onto the desktop. Connects out of this. All right, this isn't the exact same folder that we had on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this little wrench icon. And I'm going to select show the desktop folder. And I'm going to hit OK. Alright, so now we have our desktop folder back. Everything is working great. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my blog, thedistro.com. And I will see you guys next time.